Right now at 5 o'clock, a tragedy in Upper Providence after three people are killed in a crash involving a trash truck and a paratransit van. I'm Jason Martinez. And I'm Sheba Russell, the driver of that van crashing into the truck from behind and then caught fire. Our Jeff Cole is following this terrible, terrible accident. Jeff, what's the latest? Absolutely. Well, certainly the driver of the vehicle was killed, as were the two passengers. The van bursts into flame at the end of the day today now. Crash investigators are going over the burned hulk of this tra uh, transit van. They are looking at documents, trying to figure out, piece together what caused this horrific loss of life. Mid-morning on Route 1 South in Upper Providence, a scene of mayhem as rescue and fire crews work side by side with accident investigators trying to piece together what went so horribly wrong. Upper Providence police say it was just before 8 this morning along 1 South at the Route 252 exit ramp where a Delgo community transit van with a driver and two adult passengers struck a Republic Services truck with a blue dumpster on board. Police report the van ran directly into the back of the truck, stopped in traffic, and burst into flames, killing all three. We're just very sad that this happened. I mean, we... For us, we, you know, we pride ourselves on uh, providing safe trips for our clients, and uh, that didn't happen today. Delgo's top executive says the driver of the van had safety training prior to his nine months on the job and a clean driving record. The nonprofit providing some 650 rides daily to the elderly and medically challenged had picked up its two passengers, both from Delaware County, and was on its way to Riddle Hospital. Delgo's vans are equipped with vehicle tracking equipment. We have systems in place, but in an accident of this nature, uh, we're still determining whether or not that was uh, destroyed in the accident or not. Police say two motorists pulled the passengers from the back of the burning van, but they died before paramedics arrived. Route 1 South remained closed through the morning while a motorist who drives the route often says backups here are common. It's always backed up any time of the day. So actually I work right in that building there and um, I used to take it every day to go to Widener University from there. Um, every single day I'd be sitting in traffic no matter what time. It is a busy area, certainly. Now, the driver of the van who passed was a 31-year-old man from Chester. The two passengers also, both men, a 60-year-old and a 75-year-old man. The federal NTSB has checked in with investigators as they continue to probe what went wrong. In Upper Providence, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Folks. Still so many questions. All right, Jeff, thank you. Five